Hey guys, Bethy B here, and I am talking to you from my brand new car. Every single day. talked about my brand new car about as many times as I can say brand new car um, and let me tell you I'm probably gonna say it at least four more times during the video that it's my brand new car um, I have driven the same car um, and I know I, I mean like first world problems but I've, dri I've driven the same car the mom mobile um, since 2011 it, it was almost brand new coming off the lot um, it was technically used um, it only had like a couple hundred miles on it um, and uh, um, I ended up with it uh, at a discounted rate because it was deemed used. Um, that would be my 2011 Acadia. I have driven that car ever since. It has been through thick and thin, through um, snow, ice, water, floods. I have driven through everything with that vehicle. It has gotten me where I need to go. I, um, I can't say enough about that vehicle. I have always loved my Acadia. With that said, I have also, um, I hit a fence with the Acadia um, at the football field and then, um, and that never got fixed. Um, I um, rear-ended somebody who stopped on a dime. Um, and, um, and somehow it was a tank and you couldn't tell that I even that touched anyone, but their car was smashed, but not mine. It's a tank. If you want something safe for your child, you put them in an Acadia because they can literally rear end something. And I'm not saying, no, I'm not, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to take it back because somebody's kids could get hurt and, um, and, and I'll probably, you know, I'll get in trouble. Mm -mm. No. Anyway, the Acadia was a very safe vehicle. The last straw was that the gas gauge, um, wasn't working and I had to, um, basically fill up every time I hit 300 miles. And then, um, Paul noticed a wire hanging underneath. He fixed the gas gauge. Apparently there was a, um, a disconnection in this wire. And suddenly after like five years, my gas gauge worked. And then my heat and my air would only come out of the um the vent at the top for the defrost and um that is not very efficient especially in the mornings when you get out of work and there's frost on the windows and it takes you like a half an hour to defrost the windows properly because um the, it's not defrost it's just air coming out um yeah um i have never felt like i deserved a vehicle more than i do right now and um i realized that i was in a place where i could go buy one um, you know, I mean, you've seen, probably seen my, my previous, um, video, um, I'll probably, you know, link it up there, um, that where I got fired and, um, that honestly, the, the love and the support that I get off of that video, um, I'm still having people, um, you know, leave comments, really nice comments on that video, um, where they, um, are, you know, wishing me well and that, you know, bigger and brighter things are around the corner and, or, or it helps somebody that just got fired and they don't feel so alone, and, and that's really honestly why I made that video. Um, but not to get off on a tangent there, I mean, like, you can go watch that video if you're, if you're wanting to know what I'm talking about, but, like, bigger and better things have happened, and I'm getting paid considerably well um, now, um, better than I did before, so I, I feel like that was a blessing in itself, and I'm able, um, and I'm very blessed to buy and purchase this vehicle. So what I got was a 2019 Buick Enclave, and it is, um, like... I never knew I could love a car like this. Like, I don't even think I, shh, don't tell the Acadia, but I don't think I loved it like I do this car. So I'm gonna give you like a little tiny tour of the vehicle and then guess what time it is. It's time to go and clean out the Acadia because Paul's gonna start driving it to work. Um, and I don't know what's in there. Like I've owned the car since 2011 and there's stuff probably, like I cleaned it out a few times, but there's stuff in there. So I've gotta clean it for, for Paul. On the inside, we have a really high-tech looking dash compared to the other. Listen, you know you're behind the times when this honestly impresses you. 
but literally no joke it has made me a better driver like I actually backed into a parking spot I don't think I've ever done that okay so the first thing that happens when you open this door is whew, trash from like 2011 oh man it just smells like a different car and I mean like you look in the back it looks very similar except for the fact that it is full of my crap <sighs> not to mention the fact that it has Reese cup uh, wrappers from like months ago yes that's been sitting there four months okay so I need to start cleaning things out of this vehicle um, not to mention the fact that I have all the change in the world in there um, let's see what we have in the middle console well I gotta take my um, my perfume all of my bank receipts 6,000 pairs of sunglasses some icebreakers more sunglasses an ink pen more sunglasses a Bluetooth thing more receipts a glove a glove that has probably not fit any of my kids forever um, oh I actually found candy and a candy wrapper and uh, more gloves and more gloves and more gloves what in the world and another glove and then there's like it's like a deep hole of like crap Okay, that is all of the garbage that I pulled out from in between the seats, um, or in between the driver's seat and this middle console that I've got to sweep out. And then in this thing, this thing pops up. What do I have in here? We have an aux cord, some post-it notes. This is very nurse-like. What is this? <gasps> Money found. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to tuck that away. And a Buffalo Wild Wings card. Nice. Some chapsticks, some ink pens, a hair thing. Okay. Please don't judge. I have kids. I, I, I'm just saying. But anyway, in the back here, we have, oh, look, toothpaste and toothbrush and uh, floss from last time we went to the dentist. Um, some uh, SPF 50. Is that even so good? It smells good. We have some paperwork. Um, what car wouldn't be complete without Taco Bell napkins? In the middle here, we have my jacket. Oh, there's an ink pen. Like, I can see it lodged in there. That's going to stay there for life. Oh, and we got some uh, subway napkins. And in the back, it uh, looks like another one of my coats and my grabber and my pole. Because in case I, you know, decide to go dumpster diving. And this big, massive, like, stand that we need to put together. I'm just saying, there's a lot of sunglasses on my face. I found them in this car. And that was pretty much it of what all junk was left in the Acadia. Um, heck, I found some old photos, and I even found Emily's birth certificate. Like, wh what the hell? So anyway, that's all I got for you today. Make sure you like this video, hate that traffic behind me, and uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. What else do you got to lose? Bye!